Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we have episode 3 in our Let's Play series for Coral Island. This episode in particular is filled with so many mysteries, magic, and secrets. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. You hear a voice but can't make out what's being said. Sarah, try to focus on my voice. It's so sparkly, I love it. Good. Now listen closely. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. It's like the island comes to life with magic during the night. And these poor sick trees that we've been running past, we're gonna have to heal them for sure. Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Sarah. Wow, no pressure, right? Like we're the only hope to save the entire island. You had a strange dream last night. I think that was a little bit more than just a dream, but we'll go with that for now. So we are on spring day seven. We're wrapping up our first week on Coral Island. Let's check our mailbox as always. Oh, we have received some of our Kickstarter rewards as well. These have been coming in waves. So we got a bunch of new cosmetics. Gorgeous, we'll check those out. And, oh, we got a letter from Mayor Connor. The mayor says, I saw that you completed someone's request on the bulletin board. I'm impressed. Thank you for actively taking a part in this community. No problem, mayor. I'd really like to do more of those quests, to be honest. I like doing the errands. What a cute outfit. We have wings. We have a pirate outfit. We have a crown. Beautiful. All the coral on it. Some more wings. It's a little fashion show today, you guys. There's also some angel wings, which are very nice. So now we have options. If we want to dress up for an occasion or something, we certainly can. Uh, I've got a lot of farming to do right now, so I'm going to keep my overalls on for the time being. Let's do our dailies. Oh, it looks like we have some harvests as well today. Some potatoes. We have turnips i'm hand harvesting because i have like no stamina right now i'm going to bed too late i just can't get out of the habit you guys it's hard to get into a good sleep schedule so our farm is already taken care of i already have one turnip set aside i think i'm going to set aside a couple potatoes and one extra turnip in case we have like a quest or something to do do you have these to open could do that but oh my gosh i don't know if i want to spend money yet i think i'm gonna sell these to make some money, I feel like I'm still kind of trying to come back from buying those glasses. <laughs> it was a little bit silly, but you know what? I don't regret it. So we're going to go to one of the sacred trees and inspect a tablet. There's a lot of options that we could choose from. I think I'll just hop up to the forest since it's close and we might be able to forage along the way too. The cherry blossom festival is coming up. Oh yes. When people buy animals from us, we usually ship them the next morning. But since you live close by, we'll walk them over right away. Wow, great service. Good customer service, isn't it? I was just saying that, Jack. We're on the same page. See if we can catch this. I'm kind of on a bit of a bug catching kick. Yes, we got it. We can sell that one because I already have that one. And there's another bug here. This one looks like it could be tough to catch. So, oh yeah, look, it already sees me. Yeah, there's no way. Look how awful and sick and sad this tree looks, but it is glowing just a little bit right here. Let's inspect the tablet. You don't understand what it says. I certainly do not. <laughs> oh, we're gonna look a little bit closer. Wow, it's so pretty with the little sparkles. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, my girl fell all the way down to the ground. Chieftain! Oh my gosh, <laughs> we like spooked each other. <laughs> we spooked each other. They ran off. I don't know where they went, but we're gonna continue foraging. Uh, let's see if our quest updated. Just a bunch of question marks. We're gonna have to wait to get more information on that, but looks like we're making some kind of progress at least. I'd like to collect a little bit more ore while we're out in the forest. I don't have enough energy to be doing a full trip today, but get some extra ore. Just on the elevator floors. Got six more pieces, <laughs> little by little. That's enough for another bar though, that's good. Oh, and here's Pablo. School's important. I'm glad we get to keep the school going on such a small island. Had a chat with Randy about it and keeping the education budget afloat is no picnic. We are looking for any free money. A morale, off to a good start. Should I try and catch this? Got it. Pipevine swallowtail butterfly. 
I want to try and level up my catching as well. Try to level up all the skills if we can. Because you can only benefit from leveling them up. Get, you know, skill points, new craftables. Oh, look at another bug. Wow, there's bugs everywhere. Got it. A leaf beetle. Nice. You know, because my pocket's already getting kind of full, I'm just gonna pass through the farm. Oh, my stamina is getting very low. I need to stock up on some supplies for more candied tree seeds. Oh, and now we have enough for two more bars. That's awesome. Let's get those made. And then I have one of those. This one's new. This one's new. I'm saving up all sorts of <laughs> things. Guess we should shake some trees. I really want to work on clearing more of my land, but I do not have much energy to spare. Wow, that's already done. We'll put it away. So we got just four seeds there. I have a pretty decent supply. We can just remember to shake more trees as we're like running around the island, you know? Let's go into town. I want to see if we could possibly meet. See, Lily is always at home. Oh, look, everyone's hanging out at the vineyard. We should go join the party. Well, why not? If we can make it before the party's over because I have to stop and rummage every trash can. <laughs> Antonio's still here, hey. I make a decent amount of money from my store. Well, I used to anyway when there were a lot of tourists before the oil spill incident. So yeah, they're starting to mention this upcoming cherry blossom festival. That is in just a few days. The hot spring is really good for sore muscles. Nothing beats a hot soak after a hard workout. Oh my gosh, look at them playing. Archie and Taco, that's so cute. Oh, they're busy and can't talk right now. Archie, what about you? Oh, they're really busy. You know what? Respect. Just live in life. Just realizing I'm rummaging the trash can as they're all hanging out here. Let's uh, socialize. What a beautiful day for a swim. My parents never ask too much of me. Just to make sure I remember to share what I have with the community. I know it isn't for everybody, but that's how I was brought up. We need to take care of each other. I think that's lovely. There's so much more to running a vineyard than shipping wine. I have to maintain relationships with our buyers, which means inviting them over for dinner every once in a while. I keep my business relationships separate from personal ones. With good business partners, I can't risk getting too close and damaging the relationship. Shouldn't you start farming or something? So only you're allowed to take a day off. It's Sunday. Plus, I already farmed, okay? Spring just arrived and poor Charles can't stop sneezing his nose off. It's a bit worrisome, you know? I hope he finds some relief soon. We sell medicines and vitamins at the clinic. They can quickly restore your health, so keep some in your backpack just in case. Useful for an active person like you, no? This is a really good tip. I just don't have the money to be splurging on things like vitamins yet. Uh, Bree says Luke used to run around the vineyard when he was little and he'd eat grapes until his stomach hurt. That boy has no self-control. Never neglect breakfast, Sarah. It's fundamental. Skipping it will only leave you famished and prone to overeating. Wow, they're all giving me the tips and tricks of the day, you guys. Wait, Walter's being so nice. Ah, our farmer neighbor. To what do I owe the pleasure? Listen, that was a pleasant interaction. I'm as surprised as all of you are. Maybe even more surprised. Wow, look how tall this flower is. <laughs> look how tall it is. It's taller than me. Oh, look, there's another bug down here. We're going to see which bugs are like actually worth selling after we've, you know, kept at least one of each first. Harpalus beetle. Yeah, I want to see if I could catch another one of this thing. They might be worth like 10 coins, but you never know. They're not like the easiest to catch, so they might be worth a bit more than that. Let's shake some trees. Oh, nice pine cone. Yay, two pine cones. Three pine cones. Ooh, a bronze starfish? A bronze morel. I'm actually surprised we're getting some quality goods from not really doing anything. We haven't really healed the island yet. We're trying, we're trying, but it's a long road to healing an entire island and surrounding oceans. Oh no, we're starting to feel tired. I'm so glad it gives us a warning. Oh my gosh. I'm just out here like la la la, living life. Let's eat some candy tree seeds. We had five stamina left. Okay, that's better. Okay, maybe less bug catching, more foraging. I really, like, look, we're stuffed here. I really want to get our next bag upgrade. We still need quite a bit more money to do so, but it's not impossible. Nothing is impossible. Oh, look, Lily's outside. Stay outside, please. We need to meet you. Hi, Lily. Um, yes. What a grand introduction after all that. <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? I've been trying to meet you for the last like seven days. <laughs> okay. I want to, and look back into the house. She's done with the day. You know what? I feel that I'm just home body vibes. I didn't even want to go into Pufferfish. I didn't want to check it out last episode. It was too, too raw, but maybe we'll pay a visit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling up to it. I'm enjoying my my life on the land. I don't want to go into a corporate office just yet. I can't believe they're open right now. It's like so dark out. It's 7.30. It's 7.30 p.m. 
and they're all working yeah dot 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 same girl like same reaction we're on the same page you and me finally good day how may i help you are you looking for something in particular i'm just gonna see myself into karen's office are you here to help us sarah what if we say yes <laughs> and then we prank her at Pufferfish, it's all about work-life balance. We give our workers some weekends off so they can do personal things. Oh yeah, it's Sunday! It's Sunday at 8 p.m.? Karen, what does your crystal ball say? Your crystal ball should be saying, this is awful and everyone needs to go home. Well, we came, we saw, we're leaving the poor employees. Ooh, another fish. Do I have any pocket space? No, we're full up. So we basically have to go home unless we get duplicates of what we already have. So I think now we've officially met yeah, we officially met everyone we can. Oh, it's Paul's birthday and Antonio's birthday. Okay, Antonio's at the inn. Paul is at the tavern. 17 people are at the tavern. I'm clearly missing out on the party. I'm going to start by going to the inn because there's a chance that Antonio could be going to bed. In which case, I won't be able to interact with him once he does so. It's already 9 p.m. I can't believe I'm rushing to go give Suki's ex a birthday gift. This seems so wrong. Okay, and he's still up. So let's give him this tulip. It's basically all we have for happy birthday. Ah, oh, birthday gift. Thank you. You're very kind. No time to hang around. I gotta run to the tavern and try and get Paul a birthday gift too in time. This is when the dash feature comes in handy for sure. Hey, Alice. No time to chit chat. I've got a, a flower delivery. Oh yes, they're just having a meal. Hey, happy birthday. This is special. Thank you for the birthday gift. You're welcome. And don't get too used to the gifting thing because I don't have a lot of money. It's just because it's your birthday. Did you say something? Really? Ah, oh, must be the music. It's so loud. I can hardly make anything out. Apologies. Look at everyone here. Hey, Jim. Now that spring is finally here, I can start gathering some shiitake again. I like cooking, especially if the ingredients are fresh from nature and not store-bought. Look at Jim's dance moves. Wait, do it again. Do it again. Being camera shy now? Yeah, those dance moves. Look at him go. Look at him go. I'm in the mood for something crunchy. Do you want to fly? Canola? Is canola crunchy? This is usually the season when a lot of fish eggs hatch. I had to release a lot of fish back to the ocean the other day because they were too small. Well, that's some responsibility. That's good. Scott, how are we do- Okay, goodbye. 11 p.m. Wait, I still want to talk to Scott, though. Anything new going on? You get so tired after mining all day. Yeah. Wow, it's like a thrilling workout. I meant me, not you. Mining tires me out. Oh, no, Scott. Mining tires me out as well. Look, I have 64 stamina left. I'm exhausted. I feel like we should try and get her to bed like earlier, like by midnight as I'm stuck in the gate. Keep your eyes on the prize, Sarah. Let's head to bed. Try to wake up with at least some of our stamina replenished. Already pushing it. It's past midnight. Oh, look it. We did level up our catching. Level one. First level up. Three more to our maximum stamina. That'll be super helpful. And a craftable ground insect scent. We got a heart with Antonio as well as Paul. It was both of their birthdays. Kind of glad we did that. And we made 711 coins. Some turnips, some potatoes, forage. Let's see what those... Okay, these are not worth much. Oh, this one's not bad, you guys. 75 compared to like 10 for a fly or something. We ended up making 225 off of these moths. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, we're getting closer to being able to get our next bag upgrade. Ooh, look how pretty. Like the most magical butterflies. We'll have to go check that out. Wow, so much to do. So much to do. Well, let's start the day with our daily TV show. Jeff Smith, do you have new tips for us? Sprouts, today I'll tell you about other ways besides farming to make money. Well, that's good because we need to make money. You heard me right. No farming. My neighbor Jesse isn't much of a farmer, but he's done fine for himself fishing, I tell ya. Making the big bucks, that one. You do need a fishing rod, though. You can also catch bugs if you've got one of those bug nets. Or you can always do what I do. Gathering. That's my favorite too, Jeff Smith. We're so samesies. Go out there and pick up mushrooms, flowers, whatever's growing. That's just free money right there. And there's also the animal channel I kind of want to check out. Welcome to Animali. Oh, it's Paul! Oh, this is the one with Paul. And it was just Paul's birthday. Hello, viewers. Welcome to Animalia. My name is Paul. And I'm Anne. We're a husband and wife duo who loves animals. We moved to Coral Island to document the amazing fauna that lives on this amazing island. Together with our daughter Zoe, we want to show you just how wonderful the critters of the island are. The name Bird of Paradise comes from Anne. Do you hear that? Over there, Anne. This is the magnificent bird of paradise. Why is it called the bird of paradise, Anne? That's because these birds can only be found on islands like Coral Island. Would you agree that this island is paradise too? Definitely. 
And because of how beautiful they are, local legends thought that these birds were messengers of the goddess. Stupid humans, no one cares about a pretty bird. Where is the footage of the wooded bighorn? J. James Jonathan, get out of here. We like the animals. Haha, <laughs> wait a minute. That's not the wooded bighorn. Paul. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, take nothing but pictures. Leave nothing but footprints. And keep nothing but memories. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. See you next time. They're so cute. They're such a cute little family. Oh, and speaking of Jeff Smith, I feel like I'm like friends with Jeff Smith between all the tips he gives us and then the mail he sends us. Sprout, I'm glad to hear that the rumors of a new farmer in Starlet Town are true. You've been doing excellent work in the fields. Give these fertilizers a try. Apply them to tilled soil. They'll increase your chances of harvesting higher quality crops, which will in turn fetch you more coins when it's time to sell. This is awesome. Free fertilizer. Uh, we also have a PSA from Ling, the head of Starlet Laboratory. The lab is now looking for a suitable diving candidate. All applicants must conduct an on-site test for compatibility. Visit the diving pier for more information. Ling, head of Starlet Laboratory. Oh my gosh, you guys, so much mail all in one day. We also have a letter from Chief Din. This is who we bumped into in the forest by the sacred tree. Human, afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. This mean human must come visit me. Understand you will after meet how to heal island. Left of your farm, my home. If confused, look at drawing I share. Okay, first things first, tend to our farm. Look at these magical flower petals. We're gonna have to follow those. But first we gotta make sure everything's watered before we leave our farm. Oh look, lettuce is ready. And then our beautiful sprinkler has been so handy down here. Two peonies are ready. I think I'm gonna go ahead and craft another chest for extra crops. I think I'm gonna hold off on opening the geodes. I wanna try and get our bag upgrade first. So I gotta save every penny right now. That's good. I'm gonna put the fertilizer in here as well. Let's follow the sparkle, see where it takes us. It kind of showed us actually overnight. Wow, this farm is a mess. So we have to clean this up. Yes, that was a good one, Morel. Yes, and this was the bridge that was repaired overnight. Human? There's Chieftain again. I, Chieftain, thank you, Human, to come here. You're a giant, you're a ghost, you're a, what are you? You're a giant. Goom goom. I chieftain is giant. For a long way did I have for you. So cute. Come this way. Look here. Yeah, we've seen those all around the island. Seen you have these writings, but understand you do not. See you not power of shrines, but see you must. Key they are to help goddess. Help goddess, then sickness gone. Time now for ceremony. I love his little mud footprints. They're so cute. Fast we must do. Hurt only a little, but open your eyes well. Ouch. Starting in five, four, three. Now. Where was the two one? Where was the two one? Okay, brace yourself. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is just so stunning. Look at all the elements. Earth, water, wind, fire. And I'm floating. Wow. See? Done so fast. Awakened you have to power of nature. Goom goom? I can't just say goom goom, goddess who? Sickness gone? You just zapped me! Goom goom, zap you I did. Goom. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. Speak no more. Rest now I must after ceremony. Again will I speak to you, human. Not now. Later. Boom bye. Boom bye, Chieftain. Thank you for the superpowers. I wasn't hurt. Maybe she was hurt a little. I'm fine. And look, we opened our third eye. You've unlocked the third eye. You're now able to read and understand the language of old. So now we can understand all of those carvings that we couldn't before. That's awesome. And that's a special. So that's going to be found here. You're going to get a ton of special abilities in the game and that's the first one we get. Uh, and we now have an updated quest so we have to now meet the goddess at the lake temple. We will definitely be doing that. We have a treasure chest here. Yes! <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so happy to get some more candied tree seeds because we are definitely definitely feeling it with the stamina. The stamina drains pretty quick. See another dig spot here. Good compost. Ooh, look, a couple little forgeables. The compost is actually really good. You definitely want to keep it because you're going to use it to craft like fertilizer, which is a huge money maker for your crops. This is good. You're going to eventually like run out of it. You're going to be actually making more of it. So keep all of it that you find. 
oh and i see a dick spot okay goddess we're we're coming but listen i've got a few pit stops to make along the way wild seeds that's good yes a morel yes okay suki Suki? Oh, Suki disappeared behind the tree. I'm just here to pick up some fresh irises for the inn. My parents never explained why they named me Suki and my sister Alice. Well, you can ask them. Why don't you just ask them? Takeba! Hello, Takeba. I've been eating the same lunch for years. Oven baked risotto is a great comfort food. Thank you for visiting, you and the young folks from the village. Old man like me gets lonely sometimes. Okay, now we have to visit Takeba regularly. If you investigate these, we can read them now. Make the hot spring better. There's little clues all around the island now. We're just making our way to the lake. Ooh, another candied tree seed? Who's throwing down the garbage? Oh, look. Behind the scenes, you guys. We just watched their show. This is how it all happens. Sarah? At last, but my time is short. Oh no. Whoop. No big deal, don't panic, don't panic. Now we're back. <laughs> the altars, they hold the key to rejuvenate my strength and heal the land. Oh, the, the petals are just so gorgeous. Begin with an offering at this altar. In return, receive my blessing to traverse shrines. It will aid your journey. Oh no. So we have a tutorial for the temple offerings. Uh, which is basically just something we need to do to heal the island. It's a huge part of the game. So we've unlocked the first altar. We have to complete one offering. So we can complete this one quite easily. We just have to go get the supplies. It's essential resources that we already have. I do not want to sacrifice my seeds, but I will for the goddess. We already have some of these. We need a carrot and we need wasabi, I think. So let's gather what we need for these offerings and go from there. New mission acquired. Goddess can count on us. I'm glad I got those morels today because I've been selling all my forageables. We do need to find a piece of wasabi somewhere. <laughs> so we could maybe find it at Garden Lane. Eva asks, how's your first spring on Coral Island so far? I gotta say, I envy your courage for taking a leap of faith. You moved to an island and totally changed career paths. I didn't think I could ever do that. Not brave enough. Oh, that's not true, Eva. I'm sure you'd be brave enough. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I said that. I hope I didn't bum you out. She is too sweet. It is scary to take a leap of faith, but listen, it usually, I feel like it pays off. Just follow your heart. We have an errand available. A cauliflower? Girl, this is some deluxe veggie, okay? I don't have that. <laughs> Two days. Yeah, let me just quickly summon a cauliflower from the goddess. That's not happening. That would have been great though. What a payoff that would be. 500 coins for one cauliflower. So urgent. Uh, why am I here? Oh, I'm gonna sell these. We're a thousand coins away from getting our bag upgrade. Should, no, we can't get any more. Stop it. Sarah, if you want to change your outfit, you got some free beautiful outfits in the mail today. Oh, look at little peanut. Look at the walk. Look at the walk. Look at the tail. So cute. Oh my gosh. Maybe we can sell some shells. Excuse me. Thank you. Running around like mad, picking up every shell in sight. There's only one shell so far, but there was a dig spot. Where was it? Here. Maybe this has something good in it. Glass, that's good. Oh, look at you. Wait. I thought I saw a bug. I guess I'll find out when I watch this back later. I swear I saw a bug. Hey, Sunny. I'm just here to sell some shells and stuff. I hope you have a use for it. Wow, we're trucking along. Another hundred coins. I need wasabi. Eyes peeled, everyone. Eyes peeled. Ah! Thank you. A silver wasabi too? Oh, the goddess is eating good today. Can you eat raw wasabi? Would it be like spicier or like less spicy than the paste? So let's regroup at the farm. Let's plant these four wild seeds. One, two, three, four. What did we get from those seeds? Lettuce and turnips? Cool. Oh, I don't have this one yet. So now that we have unlocked the offering system, we can see which items need to be offered. So this one needs to be offered. This one needs to be offered. I'm glad we're keeping them. We should be keeping doubles because we also have to donate them. This one has to be offered too. Look at all these critters we've got already that need to be offered. This too? Wow. We're like unintentionally just doing amazing. Oh, I kept wasabi. Listen, I was on it and I didn't even notice. Sorry, goddess, you're getting the basic one because I need money. We're going to sell the silver one. So starting off with the essential resources, we need 10 wood, 10 stone, 
10 fiber, 10 sap. I'm a little low on sap, but that's okay. And then we need five tree seeds. The only one, oh, we have 10 pine cones. I'm gonna give some of these up then because I like only have five of this and four of that. So those are for the essential resources. And then for the crops, we'll be able to do that one tomorrow because I still need that carrot. Oh wow, there's wasabi everywhere now. Sakura trees normally only blossom for a two week period, two or three weeks, something like that. It isn't usually a whole season thing, but it is here. Must be something special in the water. That's what I've been saying. There has to be something special in the water. Why is everyone here so attractive? So let's make our offering to the altar here. Essential resources, so 10 wood, 10 stone, 10 fiber, 10 sap, and five pine cones. Unlocked recycling machine. Awesome. I hope it makes her feel even just a little bit better. Wow, look, it's glowing right at the top here. That's so cool. You did it. Drink this to receive my blessing. Now you can use my shrines and travel freely between them. First, I'm getting zapped. Now I'm drinking some mysterious substance. What a day, what a day. At least it's pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, girl, don't throw up, it's okay. Look, we got another special ability. Unlocks ability to use teleport shrines. And we got a reward from completing that one bundle. We got a recycling machine, that's awesome. So again, that's going to be added here to our specials. We now have two. And yeah, now we have the recycling machine. And look, now we can go here and go right back to our farm. So speedy for making future contributions. So let's place our recycling machine, I guess. Okay, we do have stamina to use up actually before bed. So we can clear a little bit more of our farm here. I have one more wild seed to plant. Oh, I can't wait to get this axe upgraded. It takes so many hits to chop down a tree. I mean, that's realistic though. Imagine actually chopping down a tree in real life. Maybe some of you have. I haven't. I probably never will. I definitely never will. This is as close as I'm gonna get. And so now we can actually use this if I get some of my trash. We can place the trash in here and it's gonna turn into scrap, which is really good for crafting. And I think it's bedtime for us. I think we've got everything done. So we made 437 gold today uh, on top of what we made by selling directly to shops. So that's good. Look, we're so close. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much closer to that bag upgrade. Let's go the next day. I wonder if we can get it on this day. We might have a lot to do though. Yeah, we're almost there. Anything good to watch on the TV? Coral shopping? I think this is just for, yeah, they're advertising a pot now. I don't have a kitchen, so the advertising is doing nothing for me. Let's check our mail as usual, the daily routine. Oh my gosh, you guys, tomorrow is the Cherry Blossom Festival. We're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. The festival is a cookout potluck, so make sure to bring something yummy. Oh no, I'm not prepared. Arrive between nine and two. Hope to see you there. Okay, I don't have anything to bring. I could bring one of my potatoes, I guess. I've been selling everything. The carrots, we need those for the offering. Okay, so I have the wasabi, morel, turnip, carrot, and daisy. And the best part is, is we can literally just go there via fast travel. It takes like one second. It's a huge game changer. Uh, and, oh yeah, since we completed the first bundle, this altar is now available as well to make offerings to. So this one is the catch altar. So it's gonna be different types of fish, bugs, and ocean critters. So back to this one, the spring sesogen. We have everything here. So wasabi, morel, turnip, carrot, and daisy. Done, unlock sugarcane seeds. That's awesome, I love that. And now that we completed another bundle, this altar is now also available. So it's the advanced altar. So these are things that, you know, we can get some of it now, but most of it we won't be able to just yet. But we can start working on it and seeing what we need to collect. Here's our reward, sugarcane seeds. I'd like to plant those right away. So let's go right back to the farm and do that. See, look how quick that is, you guys, it's so good. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna challenge myself to see if we can possibly make enough money today to get the bag upgrade. So the beach shack is closed, so we can't sell any like bugs, shells, or fish. 
It's gonna have to be Forage, because we want to get the money today, if possible. Oh, and I think it's it's Kenny's birthday today, so we can sacrifice one of our forageables to give Kenny a birthday gift. Maybe- oh look, look at all these flowers. Now that's not to say we can't catch bugs while we're here. Also, we need two of this one because we need one for the offering and one for a donation. So that's perfect. We're gonna keep that one. Oh yes, Kenny's playing his flute. Happy birthday. How did you know it's my birthday today? Thanks a lot. There ain't no beauty quite like cherry blossoms dancing in the breeze. Hope you come down for some good company tomorrow, Sarah. Oh my gosh, I will. All these characters are so charming. I'm excited to go to the festival. We're grateful to be invited to the cherry blossom festival tomorrow, but I can't stop thinking how lavish it is. I made my first flute myself. It was a way to relax after a long day of combat. I'm glad she never found out that I accidentally hoed her garden. There were no damages, luckily. <gasps> a mango steen! I see dollar signs! I guess I'll go to the cherry blossom event tomorrow. Nothing else to do anyway. Living at the pier is great because it's close to the store and close to people. It's nice to know they're right there. I like being able to hear people chatting. It makes it feel less lonely on the boat. Aww. I actually didn't expect that from Zara. I thought she'd love just being by herself. You know, getting her treasures and stuff. That's so sweet that she finds comfort in having the community close by. Another mango steen. Show me the money, show me the money. A bamboo shoot. Yes, that's good. Ooh, that's a good one. Walter's throwing out the wasabi. Too spicy for Walter. Oh, a quality tulip. Nice. I'm gonna try and quickly roam around the woodlands before going to Sam's to try and maximize what we have available. Candy tree seed, great for stamina. We have a lot of stamina to spend today, actually. Sam is open till five, so we still have a little bit of time. It's gonna go by really fast though, so we have to be chop chop. Eye on the prize. I see it, eye on the prize right there. Little hidden forageable. Oh, look at Taco, so cute. Oh, look, more good stuff here. Okay, 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 Sam, I hope this is enough stuff. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, I think. I don't know what the value is of everything I collected. I really hope it's enough because we don't have a lot of time if we need to go for another little trip. Canola, daffodil, violet, tulip, bamboo shoot, shiitake. Oh my gosh, we're really so close. I'm like 50 away. Quick, I need forageables. Man, being able to go to the beach shack would come in clutch today. Well, we were so close, you guys. But that's okay, we can get it. Well, not tomorrow, because tomorrow's the festival. We'll get it the day after. But what we can do with our extra time is clean up the beach from the trash that keeps washing ashore and collect some shells so that we'll actually have a surplus. Instead of having zero coins, we'll have some left over. Oh, that was so close. We almost made it. I think I foraged like everywhere where I possibly could have. I've never missed a cherry blossom festival in my life and I don't intend to start now. It's nice to catch a bit of sun out here before it sets. Oh, I'm so excited too, Sunny. It's gonna be amazing. I plan to never miss one either. I'll be at the cherry blossom festival, stethoscope in hand just in case, but mostly I'm looking forward to the fun. I average around four-ish hours a day at work. I usually work from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. seeing patients, reviewing medical histories, or doing inventory. Charles runs the reception most of the time. Oh, Charles runs the reception. Yuri sees the patients. Interesting. Every year at the festival, some kid asks if I have snacks in my vest pockets. Joke's on him, I always do. The beach isn't the place to sell coffee. Not freshly brewed anyway. In cans, yeah, maybe. At the beach with the wind blowing sand all over? Yeah, no. I didn't even think about that sand. You don't like sand in your coffee. I'm gonna bake something yummy to bring to the potluck tomorrow. Oh gosh, so excited. Any ideas on what it should be? Uh, red velvet cake. I'm just bringing a potato, I hope that's okay. I hope it's not gonna be a disappointment to everyone when I just bring one single potato and Eva's like baked this beautiful dessert and uh, we should go to the other part of the beach too. Macy, Macy's taking some pictures, it's not too dark. Oh, the world feels pinker and happier. I swear every cherry blossom petal has its own little smile. Can't wait for tomorrow. I love that. Every cherry blossom petal has its own little smile. I feel like that's so true. Oh, we're gonna have plenty of money for our bag upgrade after all this. Ooh, look who's playing guitar. You're just everywhere, aren't ya? Sarah, will you come to the Cherry Blossom Festival? I'll be performing a song, so why don't you come and say hi? <gasps> you guys, Theo's inviting us. Kenny and Theo both kind of like invited us personally to the Cherry Blossom Festival. In this day and age, people can be so greedy. We're always chasing after more and more and more. It's sad, really. That is sad, Theo. Oh, and look, we unlocked this one because we made that second contribution. So now we have three fast travel spots available, which is awesome. We can go, whoop, right back to the farm. I'm selling it all and I'm processing more trash into scrap. I'm gonna try and stay on top of this. And look how much stamina we have left. Oh my gosh, we should do some fishing. Uh, we should also clear a bit more of our land, to be honest. It's a bit of a mess. One day our farm will be cute. 
okay? Today's just not that day. Spring day night. I'll get there eventually. It's not a race. It's a journey, you know? Little by little, we're getting our stuff together, you guys. Let's do a little bit of fishing in our pond. See if we can catch something that is not garbage. That'd be cool. Well, that's not garbage. Off to a good start. Ooh, a tilapia. Nice. Yes, not trash. Again, I love it when it's not trash. A shrimp. As soon as I get trash, I'm stopping. How about that? I'll fish until I get trash. <laughs> that's when I'll cut her off. Another tilapia. Well, that's good because this one also needs to be offered. So we need two of them. Another shrimp. Okay, I think this is trash. <laughs> I think that means it's the end of the day for us. Yep. Okay. You know what? That was pretty good. Let's keep one of- oh, let's keep both of these because we need to donate one and offer one. And then keep one of these to donate. One last little refill of the recycling machine. And I think... I think that's about it. Um, I want to use every last bit of stamina I have though. I need to feel tired. Okay, we won't push it. For once, why don't we actually go to bed on time? She deserves it. Okay, bedtime, bedtime. Oh my gosh, we leveled up foraging to level three. Three more toward maximum stamina, so new craftables. These will be nice to decorate with on the farm. We also gained two hearts with Kenny. Not just one, but two. Wow, I guess he really liked our birthday gift. I'll take it. I'll take it. I like Kenny. And 642. That brings us well over what we need for the bag upgrade. That's awesome. Yeah, between the crops we sold, some shells, uh, a single shrimp, and a couple, a few starfish. Those were all from trash cans. That's cool. 642 gold. Well, there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Play episode. Yet again, we accomplished so much. We had a strange dream. We investigated the sacred tree, met Chieftain for the very first time, as well as the goddess of flowers it was a big day for us between getting zapped and drinking a mysterious potion completing two entire bundles of offerings at the lake temple and making enough money to get our bag upgrade hopefully in the next episode but we might be busy with that cherry blossom festival so you'll have to stay tuned and find out please go ahead and give the video a like and comment down below your favorite part of today's episode if you want to see more episodes in the future I appreciate the support so much. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Paul, Meredith, Ember, Formotus, Tansy, Becca, Anime Lover, Jack, James, Cisco, Phoebe, Janelle, Dragonfay, Judith, Blossom, Sunshine, Elsa, It's Me, Andrea, Cheese, Divine Raven, Kayla, Wolf, Zaries, Lawrence, Faviola, Kicknell, Alyssa, Flores, Arnica, Grey Ghost, Valley Wolf, and Danny, my beautiful gemstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible. It means the world to me.